everyone and uh, welcome to my channel this is Drielli today I'm going to be showing you guys how I set it up my monthly log in my traveler's notebook um, I use my traveler's notebook as both my planner as well as my uh, journal so I like to dedicate the first few pages of my insert uh, for my planner so that's where I included my um, you know my monthly log, uh, weekly log, goal page and all of that and the remaining pages of my journal, um, of my insert, sorry, I use uh, as my journal. Um, but yeah, if you're curious at all about how I set up my travels notebook, I do have a video that goes into more details about that, I'll link it above here so you can check it out later if you'd like. But yeah, let's go ahead and start the video. Uh, if you want to go ahead and pause this video for a second so you can go ahead and grab your cup of tea or coffee and your insert so we can plan together, go ahead and do that and come back here with me so we can plan together. Um, but if you see here, um, what I'm doing right now is just uh, cutting a couple of uh, scrap papers uh, just to uh, kind of place my layout. And if you've seen my previous videos uh, where I show you how I decorate my cover page of the insert as well as my uh, inside cover page, um, I use that same paper uh, right there and the kind of the same style. I use that scrap um, paper from the paper pad that I got at Michael's. Um, and uh, I'm pretty sure you can still find it. It's a six by six inch paper pad and it has a lot of uh, like different, um, you know, styles of paper um, and different themes. And a lot of the theme is like vintage. And, uh, but yeah, I really like that paper pad. Um, so that's what I got that paper from. And uh, those uh, book pages, I got it from an old book that I have it and I just use it to rip it out pages so I can use it in my journal. Uh, but if you wanna check it out those uh, previous videos, um, you know, it kind of shows you how I'm decorating and I'm using kind of like the same theme. I wanted to kind of be a little bit cohesive with my planner. So if you wanna check it out those videos, I'll also link those above here on the screen. But yeah, um, what I'm doing here right now is just distressing those uh, book pages. Um, I like the the yellowish old look um, that the distress inks uh, make to the page. It makes it look like it, that's a very old page. Um, although those pages from this book is very yellow already, it's not that much that looks very old. So I like to use the distress ink um, to distress and make it look even more um, yellow and older than actually it is and uh, I grabbed those distress ink from Michaels and they are from the Tim Holtz line from the Ranger ink um, company so yeah if you want to grab those um, I bought those at Michaels so I'm pretty sure they have it at all Michaels um, and the tool that I used it there to distress um, the page it's just a blending tool that you can find at michael's as well um, but what i'm doing right now here i just grabbed a piece of um craft paper and uh, i'm using my sakura uh, jelly roll pen number eight um, just to draw this um, wildflower if you watched my video on how I decorate the cover of this insert, you notice that is the flower design is kind of very similar, almost like the same design that I used, um, you know, that I drew to decorate that cover page of my um, insert, uh, which is the same insert right there that I'm adding the monthly calendar. Uh, so I just thought that would be cohesive to keep with the theme and uh, draw the same kind of like um, flower that I had it in the cover. I wanted to kind of keep the same theme. All right, so uh, what I have here, um, I just have a old Lostrum and hopefully I'm pronouncing correct. Uh, please don't hate me if I'm not. <laughs> um, but it's an old Lostrum um, that I have. I used to be very big into the bullet journaling system and I, I, I still am. And that's why I use 
my travel notebook and uh, I still kind of keep the same setup that I used to have in my bullet journal. Of course, I kind of like, you know, nettle down a little bit. I don't have the habit trackers anymore like the bullet journal uh, system have, but I, I still keep the weekly logs and monthly logs pretty much as the bullet journal system use to have. Uh, but I like to use the pages uh, of this uh, old notebook because it's all dotted. So I can use it to easily mark, um, you know, the the lines uh, so I don't have to use a ruler. I can just quickly just um, mark where I have to put the lines in. And I use that to draw my monthly calendar. Um, if you are interested in using the same type of a paper if you had if you have access to a dotted paper I use a five by five um, I don't know spaces <laughs> I don't know how you'd say that um, and the pen that I use it is just my um, Micron uh, zero one uh, pen uh, and yeah I'm just fussy cutting uh, the calendar right there just so I can go ahead and uh, add it to the uh, Traveler's Notebook and it looks a little bit nicer, uh, you know, it, with fast cutting, I think it will just look nicer. I'll put it above um, all the scrap uh, booking paper that I added right there. Um, and I kind of like to play around uh, with the design and the layout of the papers just to see where I want to um, added um, and uh, sometimes there's some months that I prefer to you know bring the calendar the monthly calendar a little bit higher and uh, have more details and uh, more decoration on the bottom but this month I decided to go a little bit lower with the calendar and uh, added the you know the month uh, title and uh, more details to the top and uh, yeah, uh, what I'm doing now is just added a little bit more of the craft paper just to kind of like blend a little bit more with the uh, with the flower illustration that I have there. I thought we were lacking a little bit more of color um, because of the pages of the book and uh, that um, scrapbooking paper. You know, everything was so light and that the pages on this insert is white. I use uh, the 003 insert from Traveler's Company. So it's just a white blank paper, um, MD paper. So I wanted to just add a little bit of color uh, to the page. So I thought the craft paper would add it a little bit more of texture and color to the, to the layout. So yeah, what I'm doing here is just gluing down um, everything into the page now and uh, the glue that I use is is nothing special um, it's just a multi-surface glue stick I got that one at Michaels as well and it's from the Recollections Align and uh, yeah it's a very good glue uh, you know I use some of the other craft bond glues and uh, this one seems to be a little bit stronger than those um, craft bond uh, glues so usually if I'm um, you know I usually go between those two but if I'm using I'm making a bigger uh, layout that I'm using you know a lot of paper I like to use this one or if I'm using fabric or anything like that I like to use this one instead of the craft bond just personal preference but yeah I'm just uh, adding everything together here um, to you know to the page just to make sure that um, everything it's nice and uh, stick to the page and uh, yeah and uh, in a bit you're gonna see that I am going to be adding a little bit of more texture to the page and I like to do that by adding some washi tapes and uh, you know some um, wood stamps as well so um, what I'm gonna be doing is just gluing down the monthly calendar and uh, once I do that, I uh, will be adding the washi tapes and I got those washi tapes from Michaels as well. And uh, I'm pretty sure the washi tapes, especially, um, I'm not sure about the, 
the ones that I'm going to be using for decoration, but the brown one, that's the first one that I'm going to be using, and you'll see in a second. I'm pretty sure that one is from the Ideology um, line, um, and I got, you know, from Team Hots, and I got at Michael's. I love uh, the Ideology uh, line. Um, everything about it is just so nice and vintage looking. Uh, I really like it. So that's that one right there. It's from the Ideology line. Um, so I'm just adding a little bit of that and then the second um, you know washi tape that I'm going to be using I also got at Michael's but I don't remember um, which brand it is or line I'm sorry but I got it about three weeks ago so I'm still I'm pretty sure you can still find it that's the one right there I really like the design it's like it has a lot of like you know mail um, stamps and things like that that's the whole theme um, so I really like that one so I'm just using uh, to edit a few more details to the page so yeah so I'm just gonna be uh, doing some stamping I got this wood stamp from Michaels and I'm using my favorite ink stamp that's the Drew Drop Memento um, and uh, yeah that's pretty much it guys I'm gonna be um, you know, that's pretty much it for the decoration. Now I'm gonna be adding right now to the calendar um, some of the, you know, the dates. So what I use is my Tombow um, brush pen, and that's the 879. It's a brown brush pen, um, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna use those circles so I can go ahead and edit the dates with my um, Sakura jelly roll pen in white and uh, it's not the best brush pen to use it uh, with the Sakura jelly roll pen unfortunately the Tombow brush pens have the tendency to kind of suck in a little bit the ink but it works um, so that's all that I did there sorry the video um, kind of like cut down a little bit my battery went out uh, when I was doing that but yeah, I'm just adding the uh, month of June right there. Um, I'm going to add a 2020 to that page as well, just to indicate that's 2020. And that's pretty much it for my monthly log, guys. Uh, this calendar, I just use it to track my birthdays, um, any types of events or trips that I'm doing for the month. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much for this video. If you stuck with me this far thank you so much i appreciate your company if you like this video leave a like if you like videos like that uh, and you're not subscribed to the channel yet feel free to subscribe i'd love to have you here for the next video it definitely helps to support my channel uh, tells um youtube that you're actually liking my videos and the youtube start you know suggesting my videos to other people like you that like videos like that as well so thank you for um, staying with me today and uh, i'll catch you guys next time bye